Oscar Schindler was a man who, during World War II, used his genius, his talents, to save 1,200 people from the fires of the Holocaust. The really interesting part of Oscar Schindler's life is that before World War II and after World War II, he amassed an impressive series of abject failures. Schindler was a schemer. Schindler the Swindler. He was actually a spy for the German army. But something in him transformed, and he decided that what was going on was wrong and that he was going to do something about it. I began to ask myself why he succeeded during World War II and why he didn't before that time. And I maintained through my research that he clearly had ADHD. ADHD is a mental health condition. And it's a condition that can impair one's ability to carry out the responsibilities and duties of life. While we often have great talents and skills and intelligence, we often don't have the executive functioning to bring those skills, those talents to their highest fruition. Oscar Schindler exhibited a mountain of ADHD symptomology. He struggled in school. He struggled to keep still. He was a kinesthetic learner. He didn't like doing the tasks and duties of school, but he loved fixing things. He loved taking things apart. He struggled with persistence. He would start things and not finish them. There are many examples of brilliance, deceptive brilliance, the kind of brilliance that I've often seen in ADHD children who are great storytellers. They spin tales. Poland at that time was a very dangerous place, especially for Jews. The only way Oskar Schindler could keep his Jewish workers safe was to keep them working. His greatest scheme was that he bribed and cajoled to get his factory and his workers moved to Czechoslovakia. Just imagine this. At any given moment, one wrong move by Oskar, 1,200 people would have assuredly been sent to Auschwitz. Every morning for Oscar Schindler was fraught with the possibility of death and failure. That is the fascinating thing about this book, that a man who failed at every endeavor he had ever put his hand to succeeded monumentally when human life depended on him. The Oscar Schindler tale pulls me out of my funk on a daily basis. I think about it on a daily basis. I will use the words of a Schindler survivor Schindler was a drunkard. Schindler was a womanizer. He was not a normal man in any way. If he had been a normal man, he would not have done what he did. The most destructive side effect of an ADHD diagnosis is the damage to self-esteem. I set out to write a book that would help ADHD people realize their tremendous power and their tremendous gifts because I believe ADHD people are uniquely positioned to make meaningful and powerful changes in this world.